right there, sign of Capricorn. This is Kim here to do your reading, your next 48 hour reading. This is gonna be past, present, and future. Um, we're just gonna dive right into this using the Medic Tarot Kipper deck to um, give extra information. And as always, I like to channel your spirit guides, your angels, your higher self, channeling messages for your highest good. And right away, something coming out right away, Six of Pentacle energy. Lord of Material Success, it says. Six of Pentacles. You help me. I help you. Compromise. And exchange. <clears throat> energy exchange this might be talking about some kind of reciprocity let's see let's use the kipper deck and get more information as to what six you know it doesn't have to be partnership but it is about doing something in harmony um, that has to do with material success like you can do more here in the past you can do more um, you can have more success than this but this is still success Needing to find a community with somebody that was possibly a false person. So, okay. It's also about finding success when you find your authenticity of who you are, then you won't have to feel like you need to belong anywhere or to anyone or with anyone or follow anyone it's um your authentic self is what brings in more success than you'll ever know <clears throat> Taurus energy here could have been dealing with a false person too i'm just going to pick up on that energy here hermit almost in reverse so that's the present situation i would think that you may be um you know after a period of a lot of self-study of course it is constant in and out in and out it comes and goes to our uh, research into who we are <clears throat> that's finding your own own voice to um if it's in the reverse it's like wanting to come out Maybe it's talking about socializing. Let me get another one for that because I need something else to reference it to. The Knight of Wands, Lord of Flame and Lightning. This is fast movement. Movement. Moving fast. Socializing, networking, getting out there. Could be a Sagittarius energy. It's bringing a very, um, could be somebody from the past um, who comes back. Could be Virgo energy. It could be the feeling of like, I don't want to be alone, so this person is with me. The Seven of Cups is you completely see something clearly. Either the person that you're dealing with, you see them for who they are. So seeing something clearly, something is sobering. Okay, Kipper deck. Five in the reverse, mature male in the reverse. Who is not who they say they are. Okay, maybe not. Well let's let's get let's get more. Great fortune. Oh. It could be somebody that says or promises great fortune or that they have, like says that they are really much more well off than what they are i mean i don't necessarily know if that matters that much but that's what i'm feeling but you can see through this 
I think that maybe that's you, Capricorn, the Knight of Wands. You wanting to move passionately towards something. Seeing clearly what commitments are working and which ones might not. Seeing what roads we don't want to go down and which ones we might want to go down. So we'll come back to that one because the present energy is challenging. The future energy for Capricorn, or somebody's making better decisions because they're seeing clearly, more clearly now. Five of Wands in the reverse. Not bad. Um, not a bad position like to have it in the reverse. <clears throat> Let me get another one because there could be some kind of competition or games that we don't want to be part of. You know what I mean? Justice in the reverse. We feel like there is an injustice. Daughter of the Lord of Truth. Justice in the reverse. We feel like we are not here for the games and the charades um we just want to know the truth and so feeling like we're not getting the truth like but we're getting more games loyalty games i don't know not not about the drama and um understanding that there's something that's trying to like knock your focus but it doesn't it doesn't knock your focus though um, for you to have wise discernment for justice energy. Ace of Cups on the bottom. Something new. <clears throat> something new is coming out of this time of maybe feeling like something wasn't fair or balanced. Could we talk about judicial system too? Nine of Swords. Worry. Nine of Swords. Worry. And it has to do with this seeing something clearly in a commitment or regarding what you're being told the nine of swords can be your thoughts if you keep thinking more about what is an injustice then that's ultimately what we're attracting to us we're attracting more of confirmation of the energy of something's not working. And in it's that energy, if we don't change the thinking, the way our thoughts are, there's some kind of imbalance with this marriage card. There's just something that's not balanced or that you feel is not balanced. So change, change, um, and another card that represents something that's off balance or that's not balanced, not fair regarding a commitment. Seven of swords and the 10 of swords feeling very ultimately betrayal, betrayal or betrayed. Somebody may have lied or done something with money. Great fortune in reverse. Lie, cheat, still. The Seven of Swords. Also a, a card of kind of like tactics, but it's like war tactics. You know, like, like not good energy. Really heavy, really sneaky. <laughs> um, yeah, Fox energy can be found here, I think, too. So a cleverness. So I think we got to look at the good. Um... There is a contrast that appears that shows us what we're not wanting. These images mainly are coming from your mind. Because there's something that at this moment you see it clearly. But the more that we think um, and stew on something that we feel is unfair or was a huge betrayal. Then the more we just keep on attracting messages of that thing. Of that very thing.
meaning we make it worse. We make it worse. We don't make it better when it's like this. So you can change this reading. That's the whole point in, in having them. It might provide a pathway for you to change um, a decision. Bad health, Seven of Swords, Lord of Unstable Effort. Somebody's trying, but not in the right ways. Bad health, who is in bad health? What else? So these are probably not all for you all, because not everybody's in bad health, but yeah, the main male and somebody that's coming out of a poverty situation. So somebody isn't telling you that they have more money than they do. Also, there's something like that. Mature or main male coming out. Things that change, things that are off balance is coming out of lack consciousness, of not having enough. But something with this uh, unstable effort and bad health. Give me another card on that. Let's, um, I know it's not for everybody, but um, it feels almost like we're not playing we don't want somebody to play games with their health. Somebody that we know that we don't want them to play games. We, they're trying to deceive themselves, but you can see really clear through something. So you don't want this person, you don't want any games to be played with health too. And, and balance is needed for, I don't know, for all of this. Finance, finances, health, everything. Something has to do with this false person in the reverse. Why in the past it was more reciprocal? I don't know. There, there's something that you would know as to what you're doing right now. You're now seeing things in the outside um, changing. Tell me about the mature man here. Tell me about mature man. A mature man. Queen of Swords. Eight of Cups. Seven of Wands. And the Three of Wands in reverse. So, there's a surprise. Surprised. at somebody walking away and not fighting for what you thought they would fight for or fighting for what they thought or they would. Not being able to, um, sorry, I'm getting like, not being able to find a truth here. The Queen of Swords is looking for the truth. But there was something that was like a surprise here in the past. It was like a surprise move. So maybe a surprise move or somebody surprisingly left and they left things not so great. Okay, so that's the mature man energy. Somebody left something not so great. Tell me about this marriage card. Four of Pentacles. Okay. Well, this can be about holding on to what you know and holding on to attachments in that sense of um, what you're committed to. Holding on to a possibly too great fortune. Holding on tightly to it will indicate that you believe it can leave. And your beliefs are everything, everything. Tell me more about the Four of Pentacle energy. The Ace of Pentacle. 
this is wanting to come in. Somebody has more money than, than they, they, you, I don't know. It's just a huge money opportunity here. I don't know if we're seizing it. Wanting to hold on to what from the past. Okay, this is a mature, this is an immature man. Sorry. This is some, somebody, maybe a Virgo energy. It doesn't have to be, but it's somebody who overdid it when it comes to excess partying their health and now maybe that is what's affecting this overdoing it not so kind of like betrayal or gossip too i feel like that's not good tell me about the seven of swords up here wow that was crazy <laughs> the eight of pentacle in reverse both Two, two times. Eight, eight, and then this looks like an eight with the two of pentacle in reverse. Somebody who doesn't want to change even though their tactics have not worked. Somebody doesn't want to change, although they keep getting constant affirm, affirming affirmation that something isn't working. Something missing with your, if I'd only had this, right? So coming out of poverty, coming out of poverty, healing a situation uh, that would be, if someone's open to change, somebody might be healing right now from a very bad health situation, but this is the card of healing. And thank God that's come here. There has to be some changes and totally a belief that you can heal even financial worries, financial healings coming here. And then this person grows up a little bit and, and from this mature or immature person growing up. Hierophant in the reverse. Don't be resistant to change, changing up the way that you do things. Doing things in a non-traditional sense, completely okay. How you build something is not going to be how somebody else builds something, but you are always going to appear here like the King of Wands, like very um, good at what you do, inspiring others, and what you build doesn't fall. Like because you've learned through strategies you've had to develop through what you've been through. So you're all about action and knowing what to do here. And successful. That's what I've got for you, Capricorn. Let's pull a cryon card to wrap this up. And thanks for joining me. I appreciate you. <clears throat> Your light helps. It's about, uh, this cryon card is about what can you do to help the situation, you know, without kind of, uh, sticking in on giving your opinion or something like that. It just tells about you letting your light shine is really all that's being asked of you or from you. And it does say your light helps. So, sending you love and light. Bye, Capricorn.